I'm joined by Nathan Robertson. We've just been watching the mixed doubles final. Just your thoughts on the mixed final, Nathan? Uh, well, we've got to say a phenomenal performance by the Chinese pair, uh, Zhang and Zhao, world number one's Olympic champions. And uh, the Indonesians were going for four titles in a row, but they were given no chance at all. And the Chinese completely dominant, dominant from start to finish. And I think, you know, they just, they just proved a whole point to the world in mixed doubles that they are the best and they're going to be here for a while. It was a 21-10, 21-10 result. Is there anything the Indonesians could have done that could have changed that? Uh, I really don't think there was. You know, I was saying that it was a perfect game by the Chinese, and, and it seemed to be that way. But we have to say the Indonesians weren't at their best. Uh, they've beaten that pair previously in all England championships. And to win three titles in a row, they would have been hoping to perform again in the final. I don't think they were at their top level. And against the world number ones, you've got to be at your best. Or, you know, that's the result they're going to get against them. I mean, in mixed doubles, we've been successful in the past, Nathan. You know, you've won here. I got to the final. You know, Chris and Gabby Adcock made it to the quarterfinals. You know, what does the future look like for English badminton in the mixed doubles? For those guys, for the Adcocks, they've got a fantastic future. They're already world class. Um, they've won a Super Series event. They were so close here. It was literally one or two points against the Indonesians, or they would have made the semi final. I know the coaches of the English team were really gutted as they believed that the, the Adcocks had a chance of going all the way. Um, I think they will at least reach the final in the years to come, whether they'll take the title or not. We're not sure. It's a difficult pressure situation. Um, they might need to get to a final first to, to sort of feel out that atmosphere. But but uh, the future's bright for them. For everyone else coming up, they're great role models for people to try and chase and follow. So, you know, mixed doubles has always been our strong point. We've always had great pairs, and I think we'll continue to do so in the future. Obviously, uh, you know, much younger players like Ben Lane and Jess Pugh, mm. you know, they're sort of superstars in their own right in the junior circuit. Do you think they can go that one step further than others? Uh, well, they're European junior champions under 17. Um, they're already making waves in the England senior squad. I know they're both, you know, doing a little bit of training, playing against those guys, trying to step up now into the seniors. It's hard transition, but I'm sure that they can do it. To what level? Um, only time will tell. Um, Jess Pugh is certainly one of the most talented female players uh, this country's seen for a long time, since the likes of, you know, Gabby Gale and, and Donna Kellogg, who your former partner. So uh, I, I, I'm sure that she will make it to the top. And Ben's got a little bit more work to do currently to get to that same level but they're still so young that um, a long way to develop but a bright future for them. Just thinking to singles Nathan it's been since the 1930s that we've had a champion here at the Onyx All England Championships you know Raji Fusef quarter final this week how realistic is it that we can ever put somebody on the podium at an event like this in singles? Uh, Rajiv showed that you know a quarter final was a great achievement for himself but he showed that Yes, he beat a top five in the world player in the Korean. So it is possible, it, you know, we're talking about is it possible to compete against the Chinese or Asians in singles? And yes, it is. The Danes prove it time and time again. Jano Jorgensen in the final here in the All England. So if the Danish can do it, the English can certainly do it because we can replicate whatever they're doing. And, and we have full time players and we've got all the resources to do the same as them. So there's no reason why we can't. It would just be great to get a player pushing into the top 10 in the world, you know, reaching finals of Super Series. And then that'd be a standard bearer for the whole rest of uh, English and Great, great Britain badminton. OK, thank you, Nathan. Thank you.